Adam Reposvox here, and Sony just released the PlayStation 4 version 4.50 update, which added a few cool features like 3D Blu-ray support for VR mode and improvements to VR in general. They add, they're making preparations for the PS4 Pro boost mode, which is pretty cool. Uh, but what the, the really cool thing that they added with this version is the ability to use a USB storage device, aka an external hard drive, as game storage. Previously, you could not do this. You could hook up an external hard drive and use it to transfer share files. So you could use it to transfer your screenshots and share video clips that you have recorded, but you couldn't use it to actually store games, which is one advantage the Xbox had over the PS4. Now, this was a fair trade-off because you can upgrade the hard drive in the PS4, and my PS4 actually has a full desktop 3.5-inch 2-terabyte drive in it. But I wanted to test this out. So all you have to do is have a USB 3.0 external hard drive. It does need to be USB 3.0 or higher. USB 2.0 is not fast enough to stream the games over the connection to actually make them playable. It needs to be at minimum 250 gigs, um, which does allow for use of some of the solid state drives that are over USB 3.0, which is nice. Those are faster. Or you can go all the way up to an 8 terabyte, like, requires desktop power connection drive. Which is, pre or, you know, wall power. Which is really cool because you can basically store unlimited games. So I went ahead and tested this out. I hooked up a WD 4TB uh, USB 3.0 drive, popped it in, and immediately popped up asking if I wanted to format the drive appropriately for the PS4. And then it popped up a little no notification saying, hey, you can store games on this now. And once you format it and tell it that you want that to be your game save location, it will automatically store all future game downloads to that hard drive. They don't really have management of where your games go super polished yet. You can't like pick and choose this game goes here, this game goes here. You just have to switch back and forth before you install a game. But you now have expanded storage to store a lot more games to your system. So now instead of two terabytes of game storage on my PS4, I have essentially six terabytes. And I can literally install everything. I went to my games list of all the free PlayStation Plus games I've redeemed over the years. And just told them to download all to my PS4. And it went through and downloaded a ton of games. And I still have a ton of space free. And I booted a couple up and they played just fine. Like, there's no re The USB 3.0 bus, as long as you have a good hard drive, is more than fast enough to support game playback. And you should notice no issues. Now, if your hard drive has some issues or it's a slower drive for some reason or something's wrong with it, issues might pop up then. But for the most part... It's going to work pretty well. This is awesome. So not only can you update the main hard drive, you can also add in an external drive using the front-facing USB 3.0 ports. This is huge. Even your external themes and things like that will also save to the drive. I am super excited for this feature. Unfortunately, you cannot tell it to save your share files to that drive. It will, you know, it, it will only save those to the internal hard drive due to I believe just the way the buffer works for the video recording. So if you then need to transfer those to a PC, you will then need a second external hard drive to do that. Which, or a flash drive, or something like that. Which for me is fine, but for people you know who only had one in the first place might be an issue, and is worth considering. But if you're only like directly uploading your share clips or something anyway, not a huge deal. Just wanted to make this update video for you guys. If you liked it, hit the like button. Get subscribed for more awesome tech videos. Let me know what you think about the 4.50 update in the description down below. And let me know if any of you all actually have a PS4 Pro. I don't know very many people who have upgraded just yet, but I'm interested. I just can't get one anytime soon. Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time.